For so long, I was scared to use hard light. Even outside in the hard sunshine, which is a beautiful light source, I was so scared to use hard light because I thought, oh, it's gonna give hard shadows. I'm gonna get a lot of contrast on the skin. Uh, but actually, when I started studying photographers who I really liked and I was impressed by, I realized that they use hard light a lot. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how you can recreate and how you can actually use hard light to your benefit. So let's get going. I've got the Aperture Amaran 300C right here. The reflector that comes with it and I also have if we want to take it up another level I have the Fresnel the times 2 Fresnel made by Aperture for these lights okay let's get started yeah, I know I'm gonna have her standing here I've picked this wall because it's got the nice smooth white surface here and I'm gonna be able to recreate the Sun as if there's a window coming from this side of the room I'm gonna shoot that sunlight onto this wall and she'll be able to pose right here so this is where I'm choosing to shoot my light so that means my light has got to be over here let's get our reflector on first let's just take a look at the difference between using the reflector and no reflector and see what happens if we take the reflector off so this is the reflector on and you can see the light is kind of spilling all over the place, which is not bad. I've got a really big, wide beam from here shooting onto the wall. And if I go over there, the shadow is definitely gonna be hard if I'm close to the wall. And now let's take the reflector off. And now the, and now the beam is not as hard. It's kind of spilling all over the room. It's able, I'm, I'm sure it's flaring into the camera right now, but you can see it's even hitting the sheets right here. So it's basically just coming straight off of the light and going out and everywhere forward. And this would actually still be a hard light technically, but it's not gonna be as hard as using the reflector. I know I'm gonna use the reflector for the first version of this. And let's just go see what this hard light looks like. I'm gonna turn this up to 100. Now I definitely need to raise that C-stand up. So let's do that and then we'll be able to get a more realistic sunlight looking sunlight as it's coming through over here. So let's bring this C-stand up quite a bit. And also we're gonna angle the, the light down a little bit. So I'm gonna angle this down about here, make that nice and tight. And now I can start lifting up the light. Probably about here, it's just up higher and now I'm getting a shadow that's coming onto the wall and it looks like the sun is coming through kind of like a sunset time. Now we can take this a couple steps farther. One thing that we're going to do is actually end up cutting some of this light and we can do that with this foam core board. Yeah, if you don't have something like this, you could find cardboard, you could get a piece of wood, you could have somebody hold a piece of wood up like this, but I'm actually gonna be able to put this onto the stand right here and it's actually gonna create a nice hard shadow on the wall. So let's do that now. I'm gonna pick this up and put this right into place. We're gonna to have to turn off these other lights and we're just gonna use this one light to recreate the sunshine. But if we just shoot, so the top of the frame is about here and the bottom of the frame is about here, it's really gonna look like this is sunlight coming through a door or a big window. I have my beautiful girlfriend and I have this awesome little Fuji camera. Not everybody is gonna have the most professional Canon or Sony, but I wanted to show you guys what amazing results you can get with an old camera like this and a nice controlled lighting setup and a beautiful model like this. So let's get started. Let's just use this little Fuji camera. All right, I'm gonna zoom in to about 50 millimeters back up here so I can get the full body. How many can you back up just a little bit and then to the side, it's right there, yeah. Let's take this lighting and make it just a little bit better. Now one thing that we're getting in these results is we're getting this double shadow. There's a dark shadow here and then there's kind of a middle shadow here and then we have the hard light over here which is also gonna affect her shadow down here. We have this double shadow effect if we want to make that a nice crisp hard line like the sunshine would do we're going to have to change the reflector and that's where we're going to change the reflector to a fresnel but let's change that now and see the different results another great thing about these lights is that you can actually control them with the situs link app so i'm going to turn this light off so i don't get blinded while i'm changing the reflector so i'm going to turn that off like this just a touch of a button and now i'm going to put on this fresnel okay so let's get this all the way back up to about where it was right about here. All right, this is looking better already. So we can see now that we've got a nice hard shadow 
and a, almost a perfect hard line. It could get harder than this if we used a spotlight adapter, but I don't have the distance to use a spotlight adapter. So this Fresnel, I think this looks great. This is pretty natural to what the sunshine actually looks like. We have that hard, dark shadow and the bright sunlight right there. So let's get Hame back in here and see the results now that we've changed to the Fresnel. Okay, so I got the Fuji out again. I'm at 50 millimeters and Hame is looking great. And now those shadows are super dark, really crisp. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just using a cheap point and shoot camera here to get these amazing results. Now I'm gonna step up onto the Canon R5. Okay, come in. Okay, so whether you're shooting on a cheap point and shoot camera like this or a full blast professional studio camera like this, What's more important is having the quality light. And so I think I was able to prove that to you guys today. Having that Fresnel on there takes away the double shadow, but you could totally get by with just using the reflector that comes with your light. So we hope that you found this video helpful. Consider subscribing to our channel. I'm gonna be producing a lot more videos like this in the near future. All right, see you in the next one. Bye.